Hey, what is going on guys? It's the Asperger here and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 as USA. Now, in the last episode, we finished the Civil War in France. And in this episode, uh, I have done a little bit of cheating, I guess, just because I cannot start a reactionary coup. And I went as the Russians, just tagged as them. And... Um, well, asked for uh, a coup in uh, Britain, in Cornwall to be precise. So that's going to happen. And same thing is going with Italy in uh, Sicily. I originally wanted to do it in Sardinia. Uh, the problem there being um, they're an island. So yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, things are kind of peaceful right about now. Our troops have returned home from uh, the expedition. Uh, over to France, and uh, the world is uh, kind of controlled by CSDO at this point. Now we still have the Cascadian Council Republic right here. I have no clue what they are doing and what they want to do. Uh, but we're gonna focus on Europe at this point, so we don't even need to care. So our troops are slowly being upgraded. We need a uh, better towed artillery soon, but oh well. Our industry is top notch. Let's just go for modern heavy equipment because that's going to give us better resources. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having a bit of a cough lately. Also, why didn't I not extend my mic? I'm a genius. Sorry about that. So if you've heard me kind of weirdish, I'm sorry. That's why. So yeah, China still doesn't have any, uh, a faction of their own, and I'm wondering if they will make one. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, we now have a strong ally in France. Or are they an ally anymore? Huh, no they're not, they've kind of left, I guess. Because we cannot see them anymore. They were supposed to be allies. <laughs> but why? Oh, Luxembourg left NATO, by the way, it seems. But yeah, I don't know, after we can just liberate the UK and Italy, I'm going to go for Sweden and Germany. Uh, then we're going to kind of focus on the Balkans. And that's about it. I think we're going to set up a contact group of a couple of countries that will be pro-reactionary. Republic of China. We're guaranteeing their independence. Let's go for hunt and destroy. So nobody apart from those three countries is in NATO. Good. Well, two countries now. Because Luxembourg left. Oh well, what can I do? Also, I'm kind of pissed off that France left. I don't know why they left. I don't... I don't know. Or maybe they never joined in the first place, but I was supposed to do that with cheats. <laughs> oh well. We'll see. But yeah, uh, how long will it take for us to stage... Well, how long will it take for the Russians? 6th of November next year. Pff, okay, that's a year uh, from now. We can focus on other stuff. Uh, I guess we can upgrade our Air Force soon. Because that's kind of what we will need. Go with Iran. Alright, so what did that give me? Trade relations mainly. Okay. Um Okay, battle tanks, what 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 I don't care. Okay, we can change this to generation four light motorized because we need that. And we need rubber it seems. A 
over. We need just one more. Okay, we have better artillery. Let's just wrap this up and get that over with. Our air force is kind of behind. These are generation four fighters, but or multi roles, but still, it's not something uh, I'm particularly particularly satisfied with. So yeah, the wall is being erected erected all over the borders, just everywhere, everywhere. Walls, I like walls. Them them walls are. All right, we're gonna go with army offense. Ooh, okay. Oh right, we have a justification against um, the fucktards in Ireland. Sorry for sorry for any Irish viewers. I'm joking, obviously. Don't have anything against you. Um, all right, we're gonna split that fleet, and then we're gonna split that fleet as well. So this fleet <clears throat> is going to patrol from here and here and here, and then uh, this fleet is gonna patrol from here to here, and then the final fleet, the big fleet, well, two big fleets. Or while this big fleet is gonna patrol just here. <clears throat> Alright, so um, I guess these guys are gonna do the naval invasion then. From New York to Galway. Alright, that should be fine. How long will it take for them to prepare? Okay, we need to cover all the ocean. Or we're not covering mid-Atlantic. Oh, okay, so we're not covering this, it seems. Oh, yeah, we're not... Okay, so it's not... It doesn't go f above... <sighs> God damn it. All right, so no. God damn it. This. And this. All right. Go. That nah, should be fine. Or not. Where the hell are these people? Set them to... To go back to the base? Now you're there. What are you doing? I think I told you to go and... Now you're... Sometimes I really, really despise the Navy. In this game. Go. Go do it. Go fucking do it already. <sighs> I'm just having issues with this. Can somebody please just focus? Instead, thank you. Okay. Alright, now it's okay, finally. Alright, Ireland. Declare war, don't call anyone, conquer. Yada yada yada, nobody can stop us. We're the biggest power in the world. We need to... Take care of Ireland. Let's go. So hopefully. Oh, the UK wants to send us two volunteers. Huh. That's strange, to say the least. Well, our troops are on the way. So let's see how that works out. <clears throat> Can you hear the people say? So yeah, our first actual naval invasion against Ireland. We're gonna set up a loyal conservative government that will aid 
Hey, two British thingies have landed in Maryland because what the fuck would they do in Maryland? Alright, so now let's. Ooh, what's this? Cold War transport ships. Okay. Okay, I see that. Coming close. Come on. Alright, the attack's going well. I think we'll be able to break for 81. It's a nice, nice score. 82. Yeah, we're beating them. Why aren't, we, why aren't we attacking with a third armor? That'd be better. Okay, we've supported the Sheik states. Alright, well, let's, what else can we go for? Uh. I don't want to invite into NATO because we've left with this disabled NATO. <clears throat> yes, we can go for uh, the Air Force. All right, uh, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna take Galloway, but no, no questions asked. They cannot sustain our attack for that long. Props on the Irish, though. Props on the Irish. But anyway, we're getting close to the end of this episode, so... Um, are we actually... Don't know. Need to kind of double check. No? We still have, like, three minutes. I'm an idiot. Okay, uh... All right, they're trying a counterattack. Let's see how that works out for them. Two counterattacks, actually. Ooh. That's kind of a bit of a... Force. Ooh. Actually kind of scary. Ooh, yeah, they have... They have troops. Damn, son. Where'd you find that? But yeah, American troops. Supreme. Better tanks. You may have the numbers. Just like Israel. You cannot really do much when you don't have the actual strength. And you can just throw yourselves at us. We can hold this position for as long as we want. You're just gonna die. See? Eventually you're gonna stop. You've lost 9,000. We haven't... I don't think we've even lost that many. The most troops we've lost is uh, just in uh, the landing egg itself. So, yeah. Just kill yourself. Knock yourselves out, killing yourself. Any more of you folks? How many did we kill now? 13,000? Okay, that's a good score. They don't have a naval base up there, okay, you just take these two provinces and they'll be cut off. Ooh, spooky. They're just trying, bless, bless their heart. You can bring in more troops, I just don't want them. They can throw themselves at me. I haven't lost that many. We need more chromium. Russia. Oh, uh, the Russia. We need more rubber. Military Thailand, do they turn like fascist? Huh, that'd be weird to see if they actually did. That'd be the only country. Military Thailand. Oh, no, there are military hunt nationalists actually. Anyway, uh, this is it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We've landed in Ireland and we're just gonna defending the uh, bridgehead.
well not the bridge head, the beach head uh, because these guys are trying. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.